Hey cousins, welcome to Brown Liquor and Bad Ideas. Welcome cousins to this episode of Brown Liquor and Bad Ideas. I'm your host Cornell Wright, the people's lobbyist, and tomorrow's Earth Day. Let's talk about our planet. Brown Liquor and Bad Ideas is intended for the participation of responsible adults of legal drinking age who wish to engage in substantive virtual discussions and social drinking for entertainment purposes only. Brown Liquor and Bad Ideas does not advocate the abuse of alcoholic beverages. Choosing to participate in any of the drinking activities shared in the program should be made with moderation and caution and is the sole responsibility of the user. So tomorrow, cousins, is the anniversary of Earth Day. Now, some of you might think that, ah, that's just some kind of a historical, hippie kind of weird thing that started back in 1970. And yeah, that's true. But let me tell you a little bit more about that and maybe kind of bring that forward with, to you and with you in order to help a little bit better understanding so why we all have a connection and I would submit to our good cousins an interest in Earth Day. So let's go back. Now, many of you know where Cleveland, Ohio is. I have relatives and, cut and rel people who live in Cleveland. I love Cleveland, good people in Ohio. And so in 1969, the Cuyahoga River outside of Cleveland caught on fire, all right? Now, for some of you younger, younger cousins, you may not believe that, but you go back and look at the descriptions on the bio of this episode and you'll see they're actually videotape footage of a river catching on fire. Why? Because there was so much toxic stuff and petroleum products and that sort of thing on it. Supposedly the way it started is that there's a train trestle that went over the river and as a result of the train moving over, the sparks from the train, sparks now, sparks moved over, fell into the river and caught the river on fire. As a result of that, cousins, the next April, all of a sudden people got together and says, whoa, 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 we need to pay, pay, need to pay excuse me, pardon me. We need to pay more attention to our earth and to our planet. So think about that, cousins. There had been so many pollutants that were dropped into the river at that point in time because of lack of environmental protection aspects. By the way, the Environmental Protection Agency was one of the creations after that event. There was so much stuff being dropped into the river, it was not suitable for eating fish coming out of it. It was not suitable for recreational activities. It basically was a cesspool of such. So much so, cousins, think about it, it caught on fire. Water catching on fire. All right? Think about that. So as you have your drink and contemplate that, so here's what happened as a result. We now have a number of activities kind of representing tomorrow being Earth Day that people are starting to take advantage of, participate in, and look at what's going on with our planet. I would suggest, cousins, that we all have an interest and a connection to this. And by the way, just as with the COVID-19 discussion, I still have my mask, this is really not a political discussion. You with me, cousins? Why? Because let me go through a quick list of who I think benefits from and would like to want to preserve and have a healthy planet for us moving forward. First of all, let's have an agreement. We only have one planet, right? <laughs> it's our planet Earth. And for right now, all we know, even though there's been exploration to the moon and there's been landers on Mars, we still can't get there. In my generation, probably not. Maybe the kiddos next generation, maybe, but for all certain purposes of discussion, that's our one planet. This is our only spaceship. You with me, cousins? So as a result, we need to be concerned about what's happening on an environmental and climatic level within our spaceship. Okay, so <clears throat> you start looking at that, and climate change is, yes, a part of the Earth Day celebration, and part of things is brought into attendance and brought to interest. But let me break that down a little bit to you in order so you can get a better sense and touch as to who might be concerned about that. So there are those people who actually love nature just for what it is. In my area of the country, it's starting to become springtime. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're moving from colder to warmer. You can start to, the birds are singing. You can start to see the flowers and everything blooming. It's gorgeous. I appreciate that, I love it. For any of our cousins out there who are hunters, 
Where do you hunt? You hunt in the wilderness. You hunt where those animals that you're hunting can in fact live and continue to grow. If you have more constrained or less areas for them to live in, what, what does that mean? You can't hunt. Let's talk about those cousins who are farmers. They have to be concerned about not only the soil, but the climatic aspects that are influencing their crop production. Think about how many times we've heard about hurricanes going through Florida and wiping out orange groves. How about those farmers in the Midwest who have had droughts or dust that are coming through? All those are considerations that they're taking into consideration in regards to what? Appreciating our planet. For those cousins who are anglers, if you go, even though the Department of Interior sources and stocks a lot of the areas around the country, you still want to have what? Quality fish that are edible. If you can't have quality fish that are edible, all of a sudden your angling interests and opportunities goes away. There are those cousins who are boaters and folks who are in the aquatic activities. My buddy over here, he does that, all right? They want to be able to what? You don't want to be taking your beautiful boat in murky waters that are about to catch on fire like in, like in Cleveland. You want to be able to have clean waterways. Also, because when you anchor and you want to have a party, don't you want to be able to jump in the water? Yeah, cousins, of course you do. The military is also concerned about planetary environmental issues. Why? Because they have to execute their activities no matter what the weather might be. So also, you start thinking about that, all the cousins who want to be outdoors. Think of, you, you recognize cousins that right now, since 2020, last year, you can't almost get a bicycle now. Why? Because so many bicycles were purchased by cousins who wanted to get outside, and that was an activity that you could engage in that was healthy, had a chance to breathe there, and not be exposed to the COVID-19 virus. So you start thinking about what does the planet mean to us cousins? I would submit to any one of you who have children or grandchildren, you have to be concerned. There was a point in time I used to go out to Los Angeles area, and because of the pollution they had in Los Angeles, it's going back a number of decades, they used to refer to it as petrochemical sunsets. You feel me on that, cousins? Petrochemical sunsets, because of all of the activities and the pollution in the air in, Arizona, in California, they were beautiful and gorgeous, but they weren't natural. <laughs> all right? And by the way, California is doing a lot to reduce their emissions and their, and, their, um, and their environmental issues, and now the sunsets are beautiful naturally. And by the way, any of your older relatives, people are having difficulty breathing now for a lot of various reasons. We have to be concerned about that. And it's finally, cousins, just kind of bring this all together. Any of us who breathe need to be concerned about our planet, right? So, we start looking at the, the planet, and by the way, cousins, and that's what we gotta break through this, our environment is not a political question. Let me repeat that. It's not a political question. It's a health and it's a scientific question that we all have to recognize and accept. Why? Because there are things we all can do and all need to make sure that we're participating in to understand and come, have a better knowledge of why? Because we now know some of the facts. There used to be a time in which the garbage from the United States of America would be shipped to China. In the last four years, they decided they didn't want to accept that anymore. So now our garbage is being shipped to a lot of other countries around the world who are what? Less, in, less developed, poorer nations. And why do you do that? Because there's actually people whose jobs are to go through our trash determine what is trash, determine what can be recyclable in regards to computer chips and various other activities, aluminum foil, et cetera, and that's how they're then starting to get their capabilities of reduct, reducing those things down to the pure elements in order to be able to what? Give their country a little more money. But at the end of the day, cousins, we're the ones who are creating it. A number of companies now, and one of my coffee companies in particular, is starting to have a lot of activities regarding Earth Day tomorrow in regards to heighten our awareness and help us understand how to what? Start to reduce our carbon footprint. Just as a for instance, I got this the other day, and now one of my favorite television programs talking about automobiles, they not only give you the miles per hour and the speed and acceleration, they give you how many pounds of carbon dioxide is produced by your car in driving a year. Think about that, cousins. 
the average car, typical American car in the, in the United States produces six metric tons of carbon dioxide. I didn't understand what metric tons meant, so I looked it up. That's 10,100 pounds of carbon dioxide. Now, we have a big planet, at least what we think. We look up in the sky, we see a lot, but think about that for what's needing to be processed on the part of this engine, this recyclable engine that is our planet, which is based upon trees, you know, the whole photosynthesis thing, you know the deal, okay? So think about it, cousins. We all are involved with this. We all are participating and we're all benefiting from our planet. That means that now, cousins, we have to start paying more of attention. Why? Because we now know it isn't totally the wide open spaces. We now know that when something happens in one part of the world, it does have impact other parts of the planet. We now know that the polar caps are in fact melting because of what? Climate change and the raising of temperatures. As a result of that raising of temperatures, that's having other impacts on our weather patterns and things that are impacting us. Cousins, even this beautiful drink here, brown liquor, has water and some other items that have been grown, wheat and barley and hops and those kind of things, in order to make this beautiful drink. If you don't start with clean water and we don't have quality vegetation that goes into this, we can't enjoy one together, right? Come on, because we want to be able to enjoy this, not only us in our current environment, but to generations going forward. So cousins, tomorrow's Earth Day. I want us all just to recognize this is not political. If any of those categories I talked about earlier, including wanting to breathe, includes you, let's start recognizing this is no longer a hippie, who knows where it comes from perspective. It's this main line, what we all need to be, do to be concerned about each other and taking care of us, all right? So start paying attention to not only what's happening in your environment, but your personal environment, what you can do to start reducing what? Your carbon footprint, you know, opportunity of producing more, using less where possible, and just being more efficient in what we're doing. Because this is our only planet, our only spaceship that we have now, and if you care about your kids, if you care about yourself, you care about me, I want you to care about us, the United States. Let's do our best to what? Lead the world and be number one. Continue wearing your mask, Get your vaccine when you have that opportunity. It's getting to the point. We have to get the herd immunity, everybody. So we need to get everybody vaccinated within a short period of time. Why? So the COVID vaccine doesn't, doesn't evolve into some variant that we're not prepared for. Let's get it done now. All right, cousins, you take care. We'll see you next time on Brown Liquor and Bad Ideas. We are